Dr. Keith Ablo, he's uh, supposedly a psychiatrist. He was on Fox News, which makes me believe that he is not indeed a psychologist uh, or psychiatrist. Uh, he went on Fox News to say that Maria Shriver should not leave Arnold uh, because, you know, she's a Catholic, she's a devout Catholic, and she should do whatever it takes to make the marriage uh, stay together. Uh, he also gives other reasons. I don't want to give too much away. Let's watch the video. Have to be the end of their marriage. I've worked with really? people through things like this. I don't think infidelity should ever signal the end of a marriage simply because of the infidelity. You say, till death do us part. People can get by this stuff. And she should be asking herself this question. First of all, I must have known that this guy had unusual needs for attention, right? So I'm, I'm sure that Maria Shriver was aware that this was a guy who had some weaknesses as well as the superhuman strength. Now might be the time where she can say to him, listen, tell me. Tell me, what's the real source of your need to be built like a, you know, like an army tank and revered by fans in mo the movie industry? But that wasn't enough. Then you had to be governor. He would have been perhaps president, and we would have seen this unfold in the White so House. Do you think there's a chance to, I mean, she has said she's Catholic. She, you know, if doesn't really here. want to divorce. You, you think there's a chance? Sure there's that chance. Meant. There's a chance for them to have the best part of their relationship yet if oh. she says, now I'm have to get to know you mm -hmm. because you've done damage here and I want to know what's your weakness I know the strong parts very interesting <laughs> no, that's despicable that's the worst thing I've ever heard but like so now is her chance to get to know him better because apparently she didn't do a good enough job of getting to know, you know him, so it's her fault. The thing is, Jenk, what you're failing to understand is that it's her fault that he cheated because he has this unusual need for attention. Obviously. And she obviously yeah. didn't provide that attention and he needed to, you know, get boned by his nanny. Uh, sorry, yeah, house cleaner. Okay. House cleaner, All I'm right, sorry. Very important. Uh, and, uh, no, that's a, it's a brilliant point, and I'm glad Fox made that point because I, I would have missed others because I had made the initial mistake of thinking Arnold was at fault. But now I see that, of course, it's Maria Shriver's fault for not understanding Arnold's weaknesses and, and getting to know him better so she could address them. So, but that's her failure as a wife. Hopefully, they'll have the best parts of their marriage going forward. First of all, it makes me sick to my stomach that there is someone commenting on this on Fox News and trying to judge Maria Shriver for her decision in her personal life in her marriage. It's none of your business. Okay, what she wants to do is 100% her decision. And also, you're a psychiatrist. As a psychiatrist, you should be able to understand that as soon as there is this massive deception in your marriage and there's a love child, I think it's safe to say that the foundation of your marriage is broken. So to say, like, ah, they should stay together and Maria Shriver should make it work, get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, come on. Look, Fox is so full of crap. I don't believe anything they say, meaning... I'm not sure that guy's a doctor. I'd love to see okay. what Keith Ablo would do if his wife, you know, got knocked up by someone else's oh, by yeah, someone yeah. else's kid. Oh no, or, and let's or, say or had someone else's kid. Uh, uh, or let's say his wife got screwed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Look, they've got weaknesses and he had superhuman strength and what could he do? He had to hammer your wife. But now you should have known her better. Now you can look <laughs> forward to the best part of your relationship. Right, when she's carrying Arnold's child.